Here's EBC Hawaii correspondent Alfred Asenas on the latest COVID-19 crisis in the West Pacific region. So Lou Leon Guerrero is showing uh, positive signs of a steady recovery uh, from COVID-19 that she has been fighting off for almost a week now. But she still has that heavy burden as Guam's governor to deliver the not so good news about the latest surge of cases in the West Pacific Territory. Tonight, the Department of Public Health and Social Services will confirm 105 new cases of COVID-19. This by far represents the largest number of confirmed cases in a day since the start of this pandemic. 28% of our total confirmed cases were recorded these past couple of weeks alone. Along with this significant increase in confirmed cases, this most recent tragedy indicates that we cannot decrease our vigilance. We cannot become comfortable and we cannot surrender to complacency. We are not invincible. No matter how young, healthy and active you are, you are still at risk and you are putting others at risk too. I must remind the public that this pandemic will either accelerate beyond the capacity of our healthcare system or decrease to containable levels. We are dangerously close to the former. To prevent this from becoming our future, even stronger measures need to be taken. This is why effective noon tomorrow, August 21st, through an executive order, all businesses will be closed with the exception of grocery stores, healthcare operations, including pharmacies, gas stations, convenience stores, hardware stores, and those operations critical to health, shelter, and the preservation of life. It is my hope that this escalation will last only a week, just long enough to flatten our rising curve. To assuage any fears you may have because of this order, I will be establishing a hotline that will answer your questions, which we will announce tomorrow. In any long struggle, there are good days and there are bad. Today is not easy. While there may be a vocal minority advocating against these measures, I know the people of Guam are not prepared to even greater risk. Based on what we know about COVID-19, to prevent the collapse of our healthcare system, we need to take drastic steps and we need to take them immediately. I know this is extremely difficult, but the good of all depends on the sacrifices of many. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, I'm Alfred Asenas, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you.